Before the video begins, I'd like to give a shout out and thank you to the people on screen for supporting me on Patreon. Enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to some more Sega GT part 15, and in this part we're going to be trying to obtain ourselves a factory license for Carrozeria. In this case, it is going to be the B-Class license, so let's get on with that, shall we? Which is pretty simple, it's just a total of five trials. Now, you have to be driving a, a Carrozeria car for this, which would make sense. So I've just brought my little Relan out back out. And basically, the trials are really nothing more but just seeing how fast you can get your car from point A to point B in a little section here. Uh, there's no, pr as far as I know, there's no prize cars really for do for doing this. It, all, it, all it really is is... Do the try do every one of the trials and you get the license. So it's kind of a bit more like Gran Turismo in a way where you have to do all of them. So the time we have to be here is a 21.811, and with the relan that should probably be very much possible. Oh, and by the way, when you do these licenses, you have to uh, adjust your car to certain specifications. So, you know, a thousand CC for this. There we go, 20.279. Easy peasy. So that's one down, four to go. Let's just pass through this. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, 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 we get it. There we go, trial two, another, which is another section here at night of uh, night section. Why does my phone choose to go off now? Ah, sorry, that was uh, one of my best buddies just uh, was wanting to know how things were, uh, some personal stuff was going. It's not going the greatest. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to what I was doing. You're, no, it, it's just that it's gonna be like five minutes of just staring at the screen. That's gonna be cut out. So don't, you, don't worry. You don't have to like sit through it or anything. So yeah, another sec night section uh, route here. This time, an eighteen four eight one is the target time to beat. I like how the game still calls it the fastest lap, despite the fact that it's you know. Like, it's like a point-to-point -point thing. I guess they didn't really think of that when they were doing this. There you go, 16 at 416. Two seconds better. Nice. Very nice, in fact. I will gladly take that. So with that, let's move over to the third one, which actually this time moves over to Solid Circuit. Uh, 22544, and it seems to be one of the corner, uh, it seems to be like the left hand or corner. So going under the bridge is there, one of, two of the bridges there, and uh, through the tunnel, the semi tunnel section. I say semi because it's kind of like a tunnel, but has like the open roof bit. I don't know. It the the way it's presented kind of gives that kind of tunnel vibe, even though it isn't a tunnel. It, it, it it's that's why I call it a semi tunnel. So yeah, twenty two five four four is the time for this. We've got a little bit loose there. That's fine. And a twenty one zero. Very very simple. All right, that's three down and two to go. You can kind of see these are these are fairly simple. It just helps that you have a well built car for this, and you know. So next up is it seems is on Sky Peak Hill. Judging from the looks of it, it starts at the. I think it might actually be the reverse bit of it because it starts uh, by like where the starting line is, and then uh, goes around the left. Just just coming out of the tunnel, I think, is where it finishes. So here we go. Yep, I was right. It's at the starting line. And that, that's the one thing I'm noticing too about this car is that those those first couple of gears are not per not particularly very long. So you know. Oh, gotta be careful here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so it's it's just going into the tunnels, not coming out of it. I. I think I was maybe getting confused, like maybe it was like this middle section here. Yeah, we still beat it, even despite that kind of iffy uh, corner turn. By st and also by nearly two seconds, so, you know, we kind of still easily had that. And the last trial looks to be going through the t uh, just, um, going through part of the tunnel of Snowy Mountain. 
So this should be fairly simple. I think what I like about this is that the tracks, I think they show they, like different like camera angles for stuff because of what you're doing. They kind of like, it's kind of a shame that they didn't like randomize it for like all of the tracks for like in general. But, eh, yeah, well. Alright, so 19147 would be the time to beat, but yeah. <laughs> this was the easiest one. 159. Very, very simple. Excellent. So, so I guess it was going into the tunnel thing there, whatnot. And there we go. All the B-Class trial courses were cleared, the factory license for B-Class was obtained, and you can now make an original B-Class car. Let's take a look at what the what possible setups I can now do with it. We can have two different kinds of engines, a 1.3 liter in line 4, or a 1.6 liter in line 4. And of course, this is like the usual stuff. The turbo uh, for the 1.6 liter can hit 212 horsepower. I'm not planning on buying a car. I just want to show like the bodies and stuff. So this is like the so that's the Molar X we unlocked earlier. So some of the bodies we unlocked now include the Crickets, which is kind of like a Toyota MR2 style body in some ways. It's got a bit of MG there at the front for Type B. Uh, the Altair, which is kind of like a hard top Fiat Barchetta in many ways. It's got that Barchetta style. Those headlights on the Type C are hideous. But it does have the uh, kind of oddly fitting taillights. Huh. The. Oh, whoops. <laughs> shit, I pressed the wrong button. Let me try that again. The Lyell, which is kind of just like a Peugeot hatchback. This is before this is before they, they actually got Peugeot in the European release. So it's kind of a bit it's kind of a bit on the redundancy department for some of these as a result. But hey, they're still there. Whatever. And there's the Frisia XS, which is See, I'm trying to, to think about what this reminds me of. I'm like for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Or it's the Frisia X5. Oh, is it like a Renault 5 or something? I don't know. It quite doesn't click for me. And we also got... And I can't afford it because it's way overly expensive for whatever reason. The F F Wales Mark 9, which is basically like a caterer ham with a hard top. Of course, there's more bodies we can unlock, but those will come in due time. So, that is the B License Factory done or B-Class, stay tuned for the next part in which we'll be taking on the Extra Class Official Races, which has two things to do, the Extra Class Cup and the Extra Class Special Race. I will probably be doing the Special Race first because it's only one car, and, it's, uh, and that one is for original cars only, so, yep, the Reland gets one more run. So stay tuned for that, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more of what I do, why not hit that subscribe button? You'd also check the description box down below to come follow me on Twitter, see me, see my streams live on Twitch, and donate to my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. I will see you all on the next one.